And now to the latest on the investigation into the Boston Marathon bombing. The evidence is mounting against Johar Zarnayev and his brother Tamerlan, who was killed in the gun battle with police. But no matter what proof the FBI may come up with, the suspect's parents say it is America that's to blame. Here's ABC's Kurt Radia with the story. Tempers flared. No. The parents say they will never admit their sons are guilty. I don't, and I won't. Never. They tried to paint a very different picture of their son Tamerlan, the suspect who was killed on Friday, denying reports that he had few friends. So it doesn't mean that he just did not fit in the He had them. He had friends. And that he had been radicalized by a mysterious convert to Islam named Misha. There was nothing not to like about men. Nicest, really. Nothing extreme about them. Nothing extreme, nothing. They insist their sons are being framed, that photos placing them at the scene are doctored. Nowadays, they set up anything. The parents revealed that Johar, the suspect who was captured, is being fed through a tube after his severe injuries. They say they aren't being allowed to visit him. The mother says she regrets bringing her family to the United States. <laughs> It's away from me. Only America. <laughs> so. <laughs> the father denied Tamerlan had cavorted with extremists during a six month stay in Dagestan last year. But he did say that they sometimes attended this Salafist mosque, where a number of militants have also prayed. The father says he plans to visit Boston soon to claim Tamerlan's body. The family doesn't know yet if they'll bury him in Russia or in the United States. Kirit Radia, ABC News, Mahachkala, Dagestan. FBI investigators have revealed that the Zarnaya brothers made a spur-of-the-moment decision to target New York's Times Square as well. Now, this news comes from their questioning of the injured Johar on Sunday, and it was backed up by the man whose car the brothers hijacked Thursday night, just hours after the FBI broadcast their images around the world. They discussed this while driving around in the Mercedes SUV that they had hijacked after they shot and killed an MIT police officer in Cambridge. We don't know if we would have been able to stop the terrorists had they arrived here from Boston. We're just thankful that we didn't have to find out that answer. Now, officials say the brothers had at least six bombs left to detonate, including another pressure cooker bomb, but their plan was derailed when they stopped for gas and the car's owner escaped and called police.